All right, what's up guys? We are back out here yet again. Just Dustin and me on the boat again. We're about, what'd you say, 10 miles out? We're about 10 miles offshore right now and uh, we know Gags and Grouper really aren't uh, in season right now, but we got a fix to try to catch some. So we got some pinfish, we got some fiddler crabs, try to get some hogfish and we're just gonna start dropping baits down, see what we can get. What is it? Oh, you got a hog! Oh my god! You got a hog! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's all oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I am super pumped! Like, this just made my day. God, this is awesome. This is the first hogfish that's ever been on this boat. And I am super happy about it. Come on. Frozen sardines don't hook well. Hey, Brandon. Yo. It's not as calm as what it is what it's supposed to be, yo. All right. Drop this to the box. Send her deep, boys. Send her deep, boys. Slam her life. If we can catch one, because the back rod hasn't even got hit on anything yet. All right, guys. So this is the uh, first gag of the day. Yeah. Big old monster. I'm fishing for hogfish with shrimp, and he decides to come and play. There's a size comparison. Uh. <laughs> it's about. It's about a hand and a half. <laughs> three inches bigger than my hand. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna yeah, actually gonna take a picture of him because you know little guys need some love too. All right, little guy. See you later. Crank him! Crank him! Drag him. Drag's not locked. Drag him. Come oh, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Drag him. All right, guys. So this is seeming like a little bit better gag. Yeah, yep. buddy. Gagger. <laughs> Oy. All right. Well, this spot's better. That turned on quick. Yeah, it did. All right, guys. So, uh. Yeah. Boom. Come here. All right, guys. So that gag. Just ate a cup pinfish on the bottom. And we're gonna get a picture of him, get him back in the water, and get back to fishing. The bite's starting to turn on, and we need to get some more lines in the water. See you guys. Boom, boom, boom! Are you? Yeah. Ah, nice little, nice little gagger. <laughs> oh, the bite just picked up like crazy. Whoa. I'm gonna hurry up, pop this guy off, because Brandon's getting hit. All right, guys, so I just had a big cup bait sitting on the bottom, and this gag ended up rocking me up with it. Definitely felt bigger than this, but it's all right. It's still a gag. Still a grouper, little guy. We're having a tough time today. The weather was supposed to be a lot nicer than what it is, and uh, yeah, it turned to crap really quick. Little guy all scarred up. I pull him out of the rocks pretty good. Hey, little guy. Boom. Okay, so uh, they e seem like they're hitting cut baits better today than live pinfish. We got live pinfish on the bottom too, and they haven't even been touched. But as soon as I put a cut bait down, they're getting slammed. So we're gonna see what happens. We might end up putting a grunt or something down there, cut up, and see what happens. All right, we'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so after those couple grouper Dustin caught, bite hasn't really been too hot right now. Dustin's just pulling up grunts just to pass the time, and it's uh, about all we're doing right now. Front life. It's a slow day. At least we've been catching decent ones. This one's a little guy, but we've caught a few better ones. 
So basically, I tried fiddler crabs and shrimp today because I've never caught a hogfish on rod and reel. I've shot them with spear guns, but never caught one on rod and reel. So that was uh, what I was aiming to get today, but uh, so far that goal has uh, still yet to be reached. And the gag bite just kind of, after we caught those few, the weather picked up worse than what it was calling for today, but you know, whatever. Pass the time, catch a couple grunt, have some fun. All right guys, so I just put a fresh bait on, and pitched it out, and got smashed right off rip. Ah. Ah, not a bad little gag. That's probably almost the biggest one of the day. Yep. Come here. I think it's the first fish on a live pinfish we got. Yeah. That's <laughs> mm, fish slime tastes delicious with minty gum. But not a bad gag. I mean, yeah, not a keeper, but it seems like today we're just catching a bunch of shorts, but eh, you know, we're just out here finding some rock piles, dropping baits on the bottom, hoping to get something. Alright guys, we're gonna send him on his way. Whew. Okay, oh I got something on this rod. Whoa, 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 come here. This is the second time today I've spilled fiddler crabs. <laughs> You're hiding. He's right there, I got the cooler. He's going back under. Come here, Oh, okay. Is that a fish? Yeah. All right, guys, so I don't know what the hang I just hooked on this rod. No way, dude. What is it? What is it? Oh, you got a hog. Oh, my God. You got a hog. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. You got a hog. First one. It was just sitting in the That's all the Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. Guys, I am super pumped. Like, this just made my day. God, this is awesome. Is that on the fiddler? Yeah. Oh, these players need to be oiled. Nope. Nope. Can you keep that? If he's 14 inches. Oh, yeah. He's... Okay. Sorry. I'm bear hugging him. Okay, so basically, guys. I've never caught a hogfish on rod and reel. Like I've said, I've shot them, but never never caught them. This is my first hogfish ever caught on rod and reel. This is the first hogfish that's ever been on this boat. And I am super happy about it. I don't know if he's probably not keeper. Actually, this is a female. You can tell by the way the head's shaped, it's a female. But this is awesome. Like, this is my first hogfish. Whoop, 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 whoop. I caught that gag and I left this rod in a rod holder with a fiddler crab on it. I didn't expect anything. I'm like, holy crap, that rod just got hit. And I just left it. And lo and behold, a hog. I'm going to get a measurement on it and see if it's keeper size or not. Nope. It's an inch shy. But I'm definitely getting a picture with this fish. And then we're going to let it go. Okay guys, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and revived to get it back in the water, since it is a female. So when I was messing with that hog, we had a gag eat this big old squirrel fish, and the gag was probably only five inches longer than the squirrel fish. Things will eat anything. Freaking trash cans, man. I'm gonna drop this back to the bottom and see what happens. Ooh. All right, guys, so the bite really died. Like, it's dead. And I just caught this random little gag on a fiddler crab. So, it's probably what's gonna wrap up our day for the day. It's a shame we didn't really get a whole, whole lot more, but I got my first keeper hog. Uh, my first keeper hog, but my first hog on rod and reel. Can't complain about that. I'm send this little guy back. So yeah, I'm super excited that I got 
my first hog on rod and reel. A lot of big things coming up in the near future. Definitely stay tuned and keep up with us. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me and Dustin here. Dustin's pretty excited he got his first ga oh, gag. Hogfish. Oh. Hogfish. Uh, first for him, I really didn't do so good today. I couldn't buy a bite, and it happens, I guess. But if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys want to see more. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next week. Later. Out.